Hey team, my name's Kerry Hannan, and as you can see, I'm in my bare feet, which means today we have a beautiful earth workout. A workout that's based around mobility and flow for beginners. So you literally need a little bit of space, maybe a yoga mat, maybe a towel, maybe a carpet, but ultimately some space to stand in, enough space to rotate, and enough space to lie down in a push-up position. Like I said, it's beginner. It's very much based around mobility, working around all our major joints, and it's gonna be achievable for everybody. And again, once you browse around the app, you'll see an advanced version of this, and also a beginner version of this. I'm really excited to present this to you right now. Stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, and let's do this. So I'm gonna take you through about four exercises, movement patterns to begin with, and I use a technique called repetition reduction. Try not to stress too much about that term. Repetition reduction is me, us, together, doing lots of reps and putting together a sequence, and every time we come back to move one, we do a little bit less and a little bit less. So in the end, we're doing one of everything, and it becomes nice and fluid, like liquid like oil, like water. You just move as one being. So stand with your feet about shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider, and just rotate the torso and just flow with me. So the repetitions will range between eight, 10, maybe 15. We're not so fussed on the repetitions at the moment. Just get the flow side to side. The head is the extension of the spine. So just look towards the hand as you rotate. Look at the back foot. I raise onto the toe. Beautiful. Exercise number two is what we call a T-spine. Stand central, open up, then release. Try and take one elbow up, one elbow down. As you're doing that, you're extending through the middle to upper part of the spine with an awareness through your midsection throughout. So you're really working through the front of the body. Beautiful work. Just give me a few more repetitions. There you go. Lovely work. Couple more. We're gonna go straight into our third move, which we call a gunslinger. So one more. Now a gunslinger is imagine you've got a gun in your hand, you're gonna to point to me, tuck the chin to the chest, and then open up. The movement actually never stops. If you think about keeping the move going and then open up through the front of the body. So think shoulder blades separate away from one another and then open up through the chest. Beautiful. Point and open. Let's go again. Let's point and open. A couple more reps. Let's point. Okay, let's go into a lower body exercise. Just fluid, drop into a squat. Have a look at those feet. A nice even distribution of weight through the feet. As you raise the arms, the shoulders stay relaxed. The rib cage stays high and the eye line is on me. How low do you go? You go as low as you feel comfortable. It's what I call greasing the groove. Just going with the flow. Give me a couple more repetitions. So although it's a flow, mobility, earth, workout, give me one more. You are gonna feel your heart rate elevating. Let's go from the beginning, rotate. Like I said, a little bit less repetition, but every time we come back to those moves, you should feel a little bit more fluid as you grease that groove. One more. Last one maybe. Okay, T-spine. Open through the chest. Open that spine. Couple more reps. Beautiful. How about gunslinger? Point to me. So the words and the terms I'm using, hopefully we're gonna help you to direct you and guide you through a smooth experience. Yeah. Good. Now squat. Good, raise up, go again, lovely. Go for two more, nice and low, as long as you feel comfortable. 
Last one, let's go from the beginning T. Rotate, right shoulder in. Drop, lovely. Okay, T spine. So one, beautiful. Two, gunslinger. So now we're getting down to less repetitions. We're being a bit more specific. Now squat for two on the repetitions and you'll see why. Let's just do that once more from the beginning. So we go once, change sides, twice, T-spine. Once, change sides, twice, gunslinger. Once, open up, once, squat twice. Flows down. So good luck everybody, we're gonna try one of each. So we go. We go once, now T-spine. Once, now gunslinger. Once, now squat. Once, last time. So you're warm, T-spine. Gunslinger, squat. Okay, as you squat this time, I want your hands on the inside of your thighs. It's not so much a squat actually, it's more of a hip hinge movement. And from here, I'm gonna ask you to raise the arms without raising the shoulders. And then stand up and then release. So we slide down, we raise up. Now this is gonna get your heart rate elevated. Go again. So we slide down, we raise up, we extend and release, beautiful. We slide down, we extend. Now this time, any leg you want, I'm gonna bring my left leg, it'll look like your right leg forwards as you lunge, you raise those arms. Lunge, raise those arms. There's two, as you change sides. Good, so you're really opening up the front of the body. Beautiful. Let's just try one more. You're looking good, you're looking good, I know. So just try that hinge. So you're gonna hinge, reach, stand, release. Show me. Hinge, reach, stand, team, with your right leg lunge forward as you reach. Reach, change sides. Reach, change sides. Two more. Reach, change sides. One more. Okay, one of each. Hip hinge. So you slide. You raise, you lift, you release, you lunge, change sides, and lunge last time. So we hinge, we lift, we stand, whoops, now we lunge. So we lunge, team, we're gonna go from the beginning. Okay, rotate. So we rotate, change sides. We T-spine, change sides. We gunslinger, change sides. We squat, change sides. We slide, we lift, we stand. Now lunge, beautiful work. Great stuff, from the top, last time. Let's go. So make it fluid, make it really fluid, like liquid. You've got it. Push forwards, open up, take a squat. Slide down, slide down, lift up, stand straight, and forwards, lunge one side, change sides, and one, stand with your feet, shoulder width apart. Well done. So like I said, that was a beginner flow, and at the end of every flow, whether it's a beginner, intermediate, or advanced, I like to do a little bit of mindfulness, so I need your feet, about your shoulder width apart, Let's just spend a bit of time in your feet. Just put a bit of weight into your toes and then maybe just open to the side and close, maybe into your heels. If your feet are into the floor, think about screwing those feet into the floor so you really feel the arch in your feet appearing. Okay, you really feel that arch. Try and stack your ear above shoulder, above hip, above knee, above ankle and just with me, from the ankle, distribute a little bit of weight into your toes, a little bit of weight into your heels, go back, a little bit of weight to your right hand side, and a little bit of weight to your left hand side. And then always come back to a neutral position. 
So just try that again. You're like a tree in the wind coming forwards and you're using the abdominal wall to stabilize and react to what's happening around the body. There you go. Come again. Forwards. Now I'm going to get rid of one of our senses, one of our major senses that we rely on, our eyesight. So when you come back to the beginning team, I want you to close your eyes and lean forwards into the toes, back into the heels, sway to the right, sway to the left, back to neutral, stay still. Inhale through the nose with the eyes closed. Exhale through the mouth. Keep the eyes closed. Come forward for the last time into the toes. Back into the heels. To the right hand side. To the left hand side. Team, stay neutral. Relax. Stay still. Breathe. When you're ready, open the eyes. You can stay standing there. I'm going to come down a little bit closer and have a chat to you. So ladies and gents, wherever you are, that was a beginner mobility flow. So your heart rate would have risen slightly. If you've worked with me before, I talk about the RPE, the rate of perceived exertion. It shouldn't have been much more than a five out of 10. So you shouldn't have been gasping for breath, but there should have been an awareness through the body. All the major muscles and joints should have a warm, fuzzy feeling. You should feel at one with yourself. You should feel a lot more open. We've really tried to work on the front of the body, that anterior chain, which gets very tight in everyday life. So that, my friends, was one of our Earth programs. That was a mobility flow for beginners. Hopefully I'll see you on intermediate, which is exactly the same with more exercises bolted on, which makes the flow a little bit more intense, which increases the intensity a little bit. You've been amazing. Stay safe and I'll see you soon.